Welcome to the Windows and Computer Technology channel. And um, a lot of you have been asking me about Windows 11 and tablet mode. So Windows 11, um, yes, it's interesting to see that they are actually looking at a way to make this a Windows operating system that can actually be used on a touch screen without having tablet mode. If you remember in Windows 10, there's a tablet mode that you can actually um, add. And the way that it works is that you click, you could either um, use, you know, like detach the keyboard. It auto automatically detects that this becomes a touch device. This kind of works also in Windows 11, but there's no real dedicated tablet mode that you can enable uh, with a button. And this is the reason why they are changing some of the options of the operating system. For example, instead of a dedicated tablet mode, when you actually have a device that is a touch device, you remove the keyboard, for example, just touch screen, the screen, the icons on the taskbar actually space themselves out a little more. So it makes it easier for you to actually touch the buttons without, you know, kind of touching the neighboring buttons. Another thing also about this is the reason why behind uh, the famous File Explorer um, redesign is partly also for the touchscreen capabilities and what's available and, and how things work with the different menus and uh, everything that is in there. So it's really to try to kind of have an hybrid OS that is going to work well on touch and on a regular desktop or laptop without having to specifically have it completely change in a tablet mode. Is this going to be successful? <laughs> I don't know. Um, anybody that has a tablet that has touch, I think everybody agrees that one of the best touch operating systems for Windows was Windows 8. It was not a success for people doing regular stuff because of the start menu missing and stuff like that, which was a mistake. But anybody that used only a touch device will tell you Windows 8 was probably on the top for its touch capabilities. Windows 10, they've kind of, you know, changed it and it's okay, but a lot of people moving on from Windows 8 found that well, Windows 10 is not as interesting to use in a touch device. Here, well, it's trying to have something that is a merge of both systems, a tablet mode as much as a regular operating system. And this is what is interesting. How is it going to work and how well is it going to work um, it's possible if they think things over properly that this might actually work. Just looking here at, for example, the settings app, also making it much easier to just go into touch the way that it's done. I think that's what they're going to do is really, really have a focus on how things are going to happen in the operating system, whether you have a touch device, whether you have a laptop desktop, and it's just going to adapt itself slightly, but not have a full-blown, let's go into tablet mode like we had in the past. So um, is this a way of Microsoft saying, well, touch stuff isn't working in Windows and, and maybe we're going back? Or maybe it's just a new way of thinking saying, you know what, maybe we need to rethink how touch is happening within Windows. But a lot of you have noticed that uh, tablet mode was missing. And remember, there's a lot of stuff missing. So as time goes by, who knows what's going to come back or what's going to be adjusted or changed. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.